What's up YouTube, Jeff back again from DopeTechDaily.com. Today I'm bringing you guys a video on the Galaxy S8 Plus. And yes, you heard me right, the Galaxy S8 Plus that released earlier this year. The reason I'm doing a video is because last week Samsung released the Android 8.0 Oreo beta for the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. You can see right there I've got 8.0 Samsung Experience version 9 on my phone. Now I have been writing about the Oreo beta over at GadgetHacks.com, which I'm now covering written things involving Android over there. So if you guys want to check out the full list of features and also figure out how you can get this on your phone, you can certainly do that. I'll drop a link below to the how-to that I wrote. Basically, it's very simple to get the beta on your phone. You have to go get the Samsung Plus app right there if you're in the US. There were 10,000 spots limited per carrier. It only works on T-Mobile Sprint and the unlocked version. So those might be filled up, but you can definitely try and I will link my tutorial below. So today I'm gonna to go through, talk about all the features and also tell you about the stability of using the Oreo beta and whether or not it's a daily driver. So the very first feature is the Samsung keyboard. It's gotten a lot of improvements in this particular update. So if we go into messages really quick, I can show you some of the improvements and you can see one of them right away is the new high contrast theme option. Now, if you notice in the very top corner of the keyboard now, you've also got your settings cog, so you can go into settings for the keyboard. If you go into customization, you'll see right here, high contrast keyboard. You now have four options to choose from, the black and yellow, the black and black with the white keys, the black and yellow reversed, and then the blue right there on the far side. So a lot of options for high contrast. This also sort of breaks up the keyboard uh, by the type of key that you're interested in. So that way you can easily find parts of the keyboard in a very nice way. Uh, we've also got Emoji 5.0 built into the keyboard right there at the top. So this brings a lot of new emoji. So if you wanted a soft pretzel uh, or a zebra emoji, you'll be in luck. Samsung also brings native GIF support. You can see right here, you've got all these nice GIFs that you can choose from. Just like in Gboard, we've had that for quite a while. You've got a clipboard right here where you can actually see full previews. Those are right embedded into the keyboard. And then of course the settings cog there on the far right for ease of access. Now I've been using the keyboard uh, for a while now and I've noticed that the keyboard is actually much better at predictive text and swipe. So one of my main complaints before and the reason I always use a third party keyboard is because this keyboard is just not very good at predictive text. Um, but I've actually seen that it's improved quite a lot and I think I could actually use this keyboard as my daily driver. Very big improvements, been very impressed with what Samsung has done, bringing the gifts and the emojis that people want and also improving the flow for swipe and also the accuracy of predictive text. So that's a very important one and definitely one to look out for, especially if you use a lot of emoji and gifts on social media. The next thing is notification channels. So notification channels basically allows you to tailor your notification alerts in a way that breaks it down by category. So if you go to settings and then you find apps and then go into a particular app, not all of them have it, but most of the Twitter clients for Android, for instance, like Flamingo and Gmail, all of your email apps will have it. You'll see that if you go into notifications down here, you've got all these different categories that you can choose from. So for instance, I can go into compose new tweet and then I can tweak the importance, whether or not I want app icon badges, etc. And you can choose between urgent, high, medium, and low importance and choose whether or not you want a sound, vibrate, etc. And also whether or not you want an icon badge or to show this on the lock screen. So you can see for certain things like new followers or favorite users, you might want uh, a notification, but you might not want a notification for just new activity in your Twitter feed. So notification channel is a great way to take control of your notifications. So along with notification channels, we get pen and snooze notifications in the notification shade. So if you go up to the notification shade and just swipe left or right, a little swipe there, you'll see the snooze icon right there. You can go ahead and tap on that. Choose a time, 15, 30, one hour or two hours. Go ahead and tap on that and then tap done and it's gonna snooze the notification. It'll remind you of that in 30 minutes or whichever time frame you chose. That's definitely nice functionality, something that came to Oreo and really good to see that Samsung implemented that in their update. The next feature that comes to the Samsung Oreo beta on the Galaxy S8 is new edge lighting effects. So you can go up to your settings menu here and then go into display and in there you'll find of course the edge screen option down a little bit and then you'll see their edge lighting. So before we didn't have quite as many options. Now if you go to edge lighting style, you'll see that there's quite a few different effects you can choose from. They're all here at the bottom, including this very nice multicolor rainbow effect right there. I definitely like that one and that's the one I set. You can see it by previewing it right there. You just tap and then you can see what the rainbow effect looks like. You've also got other various colors, 
ones that sort of make it zoom around like it's racing around your screen. A lot of these look really nice and you can also control the transparency and the width of the effect. If you want it to be very wide across your screen, that's fine. You can also turn it down so that it's more narrow so that it's not quite as obvious when you get a notification. So that's a very small change, but it's definitely something that's going to be a forward-facing feature that users are gonna notice and things that people will actually like to see in the update. Uh, the next thing is app shortcuts. So app shortcuts came to Oreo. Google put those in and it's very nice to have that in here as well with the Samsung Experience 9.0. Basically the way app shortcuts work is that you can long press on a shortcut very much like force touch on the iPhone and you can see multiple contextual sort of shortcuts. For Flamingo I've got new tweets and message profile or search Twitter. Uh, and if you go over to YouTube or something like that you'll see your subscriptions, trending and search. So you can launch right into the app, you know, right away, go to the thing that you're interested in, instead of sort of waiting to go to the app and then clicking on the thing you're interested in. App shortcuts are very nice and makes it a lot easier to use your home screen. Uh, the next thing is hiding albums in the gallery. Now this is a very small change, but it's something I did notice. And if you're someone who really cares about privacy, this might be something you're interested in. If you go to the very top in the Samsung Gallery app, you'll now see the option to hide albums. You can hide any of your albums that you like. So just go ahead and tap on the circles there, hit the check marks, and then you can go ahead and hit hide. And then those albums will not be shown in the full list. Now obviously this isn't gonna provide complete privacy. If you want that, you're gonna to have to use something like Samsung Secure Folder, but it's definitely a nice option to have if you're gonna hand your phone off to someone else and you don't want certain albums to be showing in your gallery. Uh, the next thing is a custom color picker for folders on the home screen. So if you see here, I've got a red and purple folder there and you can actually choose that by going into the folder. You can see right here to the right of the name of the folder, there's a little colored icon. Go ahead and tap on that. You'll see the custom color picker come up here. You can see you've got some suggested colors right there at the top, as well as a custom color picker that you can open and choose any color of the rainbow. Now you will see those suggested colors at the top. You've also got some recently used colors here at the bottom. You can also down here change the opacity of the color. That basically is going to tone the shade of purple up or down and also how translucent that is. Very nice to see that. So that's something that you can do to make it 100% personalized just for you. Um, you can see I've got a red and a purple one right there. Very nice and very customizable to tailor your lock screen to your liking. The next change comes in the settings menu and there's actually two of them. It's a revamped about phone and also a settings search. So if you go up here, you'll notice that inside your settings, you now have search history. So if you go at the top, you can see everything that I've searched for before there, dual messenger, auto brightness, and my phone number. It also gives you a timestamp of when you search for them. That'll help you recall anything that you found and maybe you forgot where it was located. There's also a revamped about phone menu and you guys can see right here in my screenshot what that looks like. I just sort of took out my serial number in my IMEI. You can see right there, it gives you some information right up front so you don't have to dig into the settings to find that important information like your phone number, serial number, model number, etc. if you happen to need that for a support call or something like that. The final feature I wanna talk about is dual messenger. The dual messenger feature is very popular in the Huawei and Xiaomi phones in China. Samsung finally decided to bring that to the Galaxy series with the Oreo update. If you head into settings and go to advanced features, you'll see right here at the bottom that you have the dual messenger option. There are various apps that support it. Facebook, WhatsApp, and Facebook Messenger are the most popular that I've noticed so far. Basically, you can add two Facebook accounts, two WhatsApp accounts, and two Messenger accounts within the dual messenger capability. Once you turn it on, you'll notice that you have a second icon for the app selected. It has a little orange icon in the bottom right corner. That denotes that that is your second account. This is my primary Facebook account. Now, I'm not sure how useful this will be for people in North America, but I know it'll be very, very popular abroad as this is a huge hit with the international audiences. Okay, so that is a look at the main features I've noticed. Now, let me talk a little bit about the stability. The stability of the Oreo beta has been pretty good for me. I've noticed a few forced closes of apps here and there, like the Phoenix 2 Twitter app, I had to switch back to Flamingo. And also sometimes the color picker can be a little picky and it doesn't actually wanna work when you tap on it. Touch latency has also been a little off in some things in the UI. Now, battery life is not terrible, but it's definitely not as good as I was getting on the stable NuGet version that I was running before. I would definitely caution you against using this for a daily driver for now if you have a secondary phone or you just don't care about battery life, it's probably fine. 
But if you need great battery life and you use a lot of third-party apps, you may want to stay away for now. All right, guys, so again, if you have any questions, please drop me a line below, and you can find me at dopetechdaily.com, Google+, Instagram, and Twitter at the links in the description. Please check out my articles on gadget hacks. I detailed all these features and also how you can get the beta yourself. I'll let, drop the links in the description below for that. Also, like, subscribe, and hit the notification icon if you want to see future videos like this. I really appreciate you guys checking out the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot for watching.